Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is how to convert a JavaScript button to Lightning component. First of all, what is the need of converting a JavaScript button to Lightning component? Whenever you are moving from Salesforce Classic to Lightning Experience, then the JavaScript buttons which you have created for the purpose in the Lightning, I mean in the Salesforce Classic, can't be supported in Lightning Experience. Then you have to build the same functionality with quick captions in Lightning Experience. That means for the JavaScript button, what you have to do, you have to create a quick action. That is the first step in the Lightning Experience to support your JavaScript functionality, JavaScript button functionality. Okay, that means you are not copying, you are not taking the JavaScript button into the Lightning Experience. Instead, you are going to create a quick action and you are going to build a functionality behind the JavaScript button in quick action. So in quick action, you are going to select the Lightning component, okay, which can support quick action. So now what we are going to dis discuss, how we can build a Lightning component which can support or which can be selected as a quick action while you are creating the quick action and how a lightning component can have a record ID where you are going to include this quick action by using different interfaces. Okay, let's see now. So let's create a new lightning component. So let's have a use case. Okay. The use case is I have a JavaScript button which is quick contact creation in Salesforce Classic. I'm not going to show you for now, but that button is going to create a contact immediately with the account details of account name as the last name of contact, account phone as the phone number of contact. This is the functionality behind it. But now I want to replicate the same functionality in Lightning Quick Action also on account detail page. Okay, so how can I do? The thing is, don't try to do the same JavaScript in Lightning also. You just try to understand the functionality and try to repl replicate the same functionality in the Lightning component and Lightning syntax. This is what you have to remember always. And now. We are going to create a quick contact creation, quick action, and then and and we are going to create a quick contact creation lightning component also. First thing is let's create a quick contact creation lightning component, and we can and we create a quick action and select this lightning component. Let's see. Now I am going to create a lightning component new lightning component quick contact creation and you have to select lightning record page and lightning quick action if you see here when you select these configurations then it includes the it includes few interfaces one is has record id another one is quick action interfaces so if you include this lightning quick action checkbox, it is this component will be available for selecting in quick action. And if you include lightning record page, then it is available or it is it can hold the record ID of a detail base where you are going to place a quick action with this component. Submit now. Now if you see here, has record ID, lightning action. Okay. This has record ID interface will be useful for you to hold a record ID from the quick action. Okay. And lightning quick action means this interface will be useful to make your component will be selectable from the quick action. That means it supports the quick action. Now, how can you hold this record ID? Okay. So you just need to define an attribute with the name record id and type equals string then this attribute can hold the record id 
of detail based where you are placing the quick action with the help of or with the help of this has record id interface now let's create an apex class with the quick contact creation name apex class now i'm going to you as you know if you want to execute or if you want to call this uh, apex methods from lightning component you have to implement a method with the ara enabled annotation always so let's take this i'm taking this and if you observe here you have you are passing the account id and you enabled aura enabled annotation and you were just querying that and you are creating a contact with the account details okay under account simple okay and you can have a lot of classes you have seven classes in our youtube channel you can go through that how to create a logic and how to create a lightning component how to work with the apex controllers everything and now let's go with this this is having simple contact creation with the account details and it is expecting account id as a parameter so to include this class you just need to use controller attribute you know that controller property this. Yeah. now so whenever you click on that quick action then it should create a contact immediately it should not ask give enter first name last name you don't have such kind of uh, uh, requirement whenever you click on that quick action it should create that means on load up this camp uh, this component itself it should create okay initial load so for that what you have to create first thing is you have to create a method which can invoke your method we were apex class method let's go with this so i am not going to explain how to do this because we already explained this in uh, previous classes you can have a look on that and now see if you see here i'm not doing anything I am just trying to get the attribute ID record ID. Then it can get the record ID by using this. Okay, and I'll show in the alert anyway. And we can see that. And now same way, I am just calling our method by using action. I am setting the parameter by using account record ID and callback function and I'm just checking whether state is success or not and then I'm closing the quick action by using post colon close quick action event and I'm just using show toast okay I'm just using toast message for showing successful message okay that's it and I'm using refresh view event to refresh the view after saving the record simple now let's do handler okay to invoke a method when a component is loaded immediately then you have to define a handler init handler okay this is syntax init and value equals you have to place this and action equals what you can do dot what is the controller method name my action you can have it okay then this is how we can create a component which can support the quick action now what we are going to do we are going to create a quick action on account page and we are going while creating the quick action we are going to select this component let's do that go to object manager 
okay and click on account actions new action here lightning component okay you can have a flow you can update a record you can have different actions here we need lightning component here for now and here i'm selecting quick contact creation i'm giving you the example how we can invoke and even with this you can have a complex logic also in your component and now with this you can have a input also input page also input lightning component also when you click on that quick action now quick contact creation yeah. see after creating this quick action you have to add this quick action to account layout go to layout okay account layout quick actions in the sales code publisher and lightning experience also now i'm going to select quick action what is this where is the quick action thing lightning actions okay so you can see this quick action here quick contact okay you have to select from mobile and lightning actions okay this is also quick action for lightning experience save now let's try to go to account account go to accounts so if you see here you have one panduranga and co thing now i am going to create i am going to click on our pick action it will create one more panduranga and co because account name is that and with the phone number okay click on this see it is able to take the current record id okay 001 and qaj yeah. the record is saved and refreshed also see it created now contacts too this is how you can create a quick action with the lightning component so we saw this just example and with the initial i mean uh, init method but now one more example we see our use case is we had a javascript button to create a contact with the user defined input first name last name and just email and then i want to create a quick contact then after that i will update whatever i want this is the requirement now how can we do with the same quick action see let's see simple way i am going to add one more method to quick action class simple here if you see it's a simple one i am just sending contact object and creating contact object simple now on creation what i am going to do i don't want any headers so if you have quick action if you include quick action without header interface then you can have your own headers and footers you can define okay that's what i included now everything is same and i don't need this in it now because i want to create a contact on pop up with a button and what else i can do first thing is you have to define an attribute for contact instance 
okay conduct obj and default fields and default values now i am going to use this attribute for first name and last name simple i just used input lightning input you can use lightning input field also here and we dot contact obj last name last name, email now what else one more button Done. so if you see here handle click we don't have this method handle click here so then for another method you just need to add comma and you have to write the method for that i already have a method with me so see here i'm going to take this here if you observe here nothing is there it's just i'm creating a contact with the con i'm just invoking a create contact apex controller method and then passing contact instance here by taking by take uh, by getting contact obj instance from lightning component and i'm just doing the same thing closing pick action after creating a contact and showing the toast message okay with different standard events okay nothing else so now see let's see so let's refresh So I'm going to click on quick contact creation. So if you see here, it is having um, the Varshi and you can have Test and test with Gmail. Okay, now see. See, you got test never see with b test at gmail.com. This is how you can create a contact through user interface also. So if you observe here, previously in Salesforce Classic, to get this type of user interface, one is you have to use a model dialog with the jQuery or something libraries, and you have to include that visual code space in that, and then you have to do your logic. Now, with the quick action, you have the possibility to include your lightning component with your own user interface from the lightning design system, which is a CSS library from Salesforce, and you can create any type of user interface and you can save the record or you can do whatever the logic you are planning for so with this we got to know how to create a or how to convert a javascript button to a lightning component the basic thing is whenever you want to convert a javascript button to lightning component it is a quick action that's a lightning quick action and then you have to create a component which can be supported for quick action and you should have the has record id interface in that component to hold or to retrieve or to get the record ID from the record detail base where you defined quick action. This is how you can. And other than this, if you follow this basic, then other than that, you know how to build a lightning component through a lot of videos are there and you know how to create a logic. This is 